Welcome to the Exit Rich Podcast, where the leading authority on buying, selling, fixing, and growing companies, Michelle Seiler Tucker, is dedicated to helping you find the path to retire rich and move on to your next adventure by exiting your business for the desired dream price you deserve. Get ready to exit rich with your host, Michelle Seiler Tucker. Hello, Exit Rich fans. Hello, all my Facebook friends. So welcome to another episode of Exit Rich. I'm so excited to have a very good friend of mine from a mastermind that we both um, are members in. I've been a member for four years. I think you've been a member for about a year, huh, Shane? Right. So let's introduce Shane. I'm so excited. Shane Mahoney has built a global business in the industry that everyone loves. What industry could that be? Well, luxury travel, of course. Everybody loves to travel. Everybody loves to travel um, overseas. Everybody loves to travel, like I say, in, in the United States and international. He has the uncanny talent for creating unforgettable and highly unique experiences. Isn't that what life is all about, is really creating an experience, creating these memories? Shane found a Logos Travel in 2011 after a lifetime of living and traveling overseas. Wow, what a great life you've had, Shane. <laughs> and as the CEO and creative brain behind Logos Travel, Shane puts together custom luxury adventures and meaningful experiences that are out of the ordinary. In fact, they're extraordinary. They're thrilling and guaranteed to delight his clients. Shane manages, I love this piece too, Shane. I love that you also manage a nonprofit organization that matches donors' travel to give back travel services that donate a percentage of all your travel bookings to your charity of choice. What a great gift. I love it when business owners take uh, a nonprofit approach to, to really align that with their business and their values and their core beliefs to help give back to the community. So well done, Shane, and welcome to my, I don't know what number you are, 51, 52, episode of Exit Rich, not your age. Excited. <laughs> Pretty close, though. <laughs> so Shane, why don't you tell our listeners kind of how you got started in the travel industry, what your background is, what were you like as a little Shane running around as a little two-year-old, three-year-old? <laughs> I was a lot like my son, who's seven. <laughs> Apparently, he's a trip off the old block. Yeah, thank you, Michelle. I appreciate uh, the time to be on your podcast and uh, and connect with your listeners and be able to um, share some of the the tips and in industry things that uh, will help your travels, but also uh, possibly your business too, and insights yeah. into that. And that's one of the big reasons I wanted to bring you on to the show, Shane, is because yes, this is a business show. Yes, we have million dollar, billion dollar exits that we talk about, and and you know, wicked smart business hacks, but. Us entrepreneurs got in business to do what? To, to have financial freedom, to have a better yep. quality of life. Yep. To spend more time with our family. Yep. You know, and most entrepreneurs don't even take a vacation. I got a client that's been in business for 40 plus years. He said, Michelle, I haven't had a vacation in nine years. I've missed all of my kids' soccer games, baseball games, dances, et cetera. And so I wanted to bring you on today. To really talk about entrepreneur, to really talk about business, luxury travel, and how that really should be, you know, part of the entrepreneurial lifestyle, and how we can incorporate that in the masterminds, how we can incorporate that into doing deals. You don't just have to do deals on the golf course; you can do deals all around sure. the world with luxury travel, and how we can really make you know stronger, uh, better relationships, and how we can boost employee morale and have employee retreats. So we're going to talk about all of that today. I'm so excited to unpack everything you have. <laughs> so let's get started on this travel adventure together. Super. Yeah, I, I'm excited. You know, for your friend that has never taken a vacation in nine years, I mean, honestly, the research is out. Uh, taking a vacation is good for your profit. Uh, it's good for your ideas, running your company. Um, and, and honestly, one of the greatest ideas that I think uh, I, I didn't even think of myself was as an entrepreneur, being able to step away from your business from three days, a week, two weeks, really tests your systems and processes to, to better understand, do you have a business that runs itself? Do you have to be there to make it happen? 
Um, and, and honestly, being an entrepreneur for me the whole time has been the ability to structure something such that I don't have to be there with my finger on the pulse all the time. I mean, I, I really wanted to see my son grow up and, um, and get to spend time, um, you know, practicing what I preach, I guess. What was your past life? What did, have you always been in travel? What did you do before? <laughs> so the really long story short is that um, I got I got the travel bug by by being a kid that that my dad was a roughneck. He he uh, you know for all intents and purposes he drilled oil on a ship in the Indian Ocean that would just be like I don't know let's try over here and they'd be like nope all right let's go over there. Um, so I lived in uh, Borneo for a year. I lived in Australia for three years, um, originally from Florida and, um, and, uh, late seventies, early eighties, uh, bust of the oil, uh, fields kind of led to us coming back to Florida and, uh, graduated, uh, from high school in uh, Lakeland, Florida, and then went to university of Alabama for a bachelor of science in international marketing, really kind of, uh, the bug had sort of hit me by then. But, uh, but I did, I, I think I did what a lot of people do. Uh, I got a, I got a great job out of college that had nothing to do with my, my major. And, uh, I just sort of went with that and, um, yeah, so 12 years, I just sort of went with what made me a lot of money. Um, it and wasn't stuff that I was, and you know, what were you doing? So I, I was, uh, I was in sales and finance for either homes, cars, or construction, okay. essentially that. So, um, so I, I dealt with, uh, money and, uh, credit and all that good stuff. Cool. And, um, so yeah, I hit 34 years old and, um, I was just done with the rat race. I, I didn't care about money and I realized I wasn't leading the kind of life that I wanted. I had to I had, I had hair and I had to ask somebody to, uh, to, to get a haircut, you know, like permission. And I was like, this, this is not living my life. So, um, so yeah, so I, I kind of thought, did you lose your hair when, I'm sorry. Did you lose your hair when you went into business for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I think it just happened with age the last couple of years. Yeah. Cause I know uh, my entrepreneurs are watching this going, Hmm. Yeah, hair. Now he does it. Does that? Well, I make it look so good. So, (laughs) (laughs) so yeah. No, I hit thirty-four years old, and and honestly, I was just um, I was just tired of it. And uh, long story short, I was looking for my passion. I was looking to ask myself what I really wanted to do with my life. And my path led me to speaking to a gentleman in the French Alps who started a ski school, and uh, we had like a really long conversation. And he says, hey, uh, your idea to become a ski instructor, not so good. He's like, but maybe you should be a tour operator. And uh, Michelle, I had no idea what a tour operator was. I hadn't even really used a travel agent ever. I just knew I didn't want to be in a cubicle. Um, And uh, so I spent three, four weeks researching the industry, the statistics, uh, the market and everything else. And at the end of my three, four weeks, I was like, this is plan A, B, and C. I'm going to be a tour operator um, no matter what. And that was uh, coming up on 11 years ago in July. So um, wow, I, I just, I really like what I do. I, I like that I get to uh, use creativity mm-hmm. to be able to solve complex problems of logistics using multiple different countries, languages, and people. Uh, to be able to deliver custom experiences to my clients uh, in a way that will meaningfully change their lives or their relationships. And that's, that's, what, that's what gets me off. That's awesome. So you've been in the travel industry for 12 years. Almost 11. Almost like 11. July. July will be 11. July. Okay, we're almost there. So you really went through a, what I call one of the worst times in the travel his in, in in hospitality, the travel industry in decades. Probably the worst my, could be the worst time ever, you know, in the world where the whole world shut down and you know people are traveling from one room to another in their house, you know? Right. Traveling, they won't go on airplanes, they won't stay in the hotels, they won't go on trips. How did you did how did you keep your business afloat? How did you survive that? What did you do? 
You know, I'm, I, I can't lie. 2020 uh, was pretty tough. Um, it was a, it was a big test. Um, and, um, and honestly, I spent a lot of the year, you know, a couple of weeks away from bankruptcy with 15 months of no business. I mean, absolute flatline. Um, you know, some of the government programs really helped us to be able to, um, to, to keep on going on. Uh, but I also took on investors, uh, to be able to, um, not just survive, but what I had was some very specific goals of what I wanted to accomplish for when travel uh, was back. Mm -hmm. And it was my firm belief that history does repeat itself. And so I was looking to the, uh, to the 1920s, what, why they called it the Roaring Twenties is actually because of um, a pandemic. So Spanish flu killed millions of people worldwide. And so people stayed indoors for a really long time and, uh, and uh, till they got over that. And when that happened, the Roaring Twenties happened because people could go back outside and um, and and enjoy themselves again. So I really felt like I I wanted to position my business such that we were ready for a large influx of people who are looking for new experiences and tired of being at home. And and I think we're in that moment right now. Um, and uh, you know, war aside. Uh, I think it's, it's travel is something that people are ready and willing to do right now. Yeah. Amen. I mean, everybody's looking to get out and, and go have fun and go explore. You see more people traveling with inside the United States more than ever before. You know, there's still some fear about going internationally because of the pandemic and because of course of this war now. Sure. But, um, so what, what were the biggest things you learned, biggest strategies, techniques you implemented during that time frame, and, what advice do you have to others that practically went out of business, almost filed bankruptcy during the pandemic? So I, I'll tell you what's really been keeping me busy for close to the last year. And, um, and it wouldn't have been possible had it not been for COVID. So um, having the time and the uh, ability to be able to work on these systems and processes is what's really propelled us forward. Uh, so what I'm really excited about is that processes is a therapy and exit rich. <laughs> you read my yeah, book. Yeah, I'm reading it right now. Uh, I have uh, I have started it. I just got my uh, signed Michelle Saylor Tucker copy uh, just about two weeks ago, and uh, I'm I'm dived in. So okay, cool. Um, so yeah, so go ahead and and yeah, let's talk about your book. Yeah. So so really, um, one of the things I focused on so much was friction in my industry. And um, I have a lot of uh, beliefs in how uh, information in the travel industry has been disseminated over the last 20 years. And really, so, you know, everybody was familiar with travel agents being a necessary tool because we were the only gatekeepers around. We, we knew where the hotels were, the guides and all the stuff pre-internet. Um, and then I think what happened was the internet came out and really showed people that they could access the same amount of information as now as what we could. Mm -hmm. um, but the problem is now different. It's not that there isn't available information. It's that there's too much available information. And so what people have is dis, um, decision paralysis, not knowing how to pick between two different hotels, both of which have great reviews, great stars, you know, are generally in the same location. Like, how do you pick? You know, and that's just one facet. So, uh, so for the last year, what we've been doing is taking a process, which is getting a quote for travel um, and shortening that time period down uh, so that what we can do is, is really tailor to our customers and let them be able to decide their entire vacation, like very quickly in, in an afternoon. Whereas before, really, I think the stress of vacations isn't, uh, it's really in the planning phase, isn't it? I mean, I, I think, and maybe you can, maybe you can tell me, I think that every family in America reaches uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas reflecting with uh, their great year and uh, spending time with their family and realizing that they didn't spend as much time with their family as they would have liked to and that they had a great year. 
And so what happens is we all kind of uh, make this note around the dinner table to, you know, hey, we're going to take a vacation next year and spend some time together as a family. And the stress of planning it is such that it prevents people from actually doing it until really what happens is spring break. The kids are out of school and you're like, oh my gosh, like summer is right there. If we don't get plane tickets and this and that and the other right now, we're going to spend three times as much uh, because we weren't ready. And that stress just compounds on people until what they do is they hit the easy button they either take a cruise where it's you know a very quick decision, um, or they do something that they've done before. Mm-hmm. And if this doesn't sound familiar, I, I, this is like the American story all day. And so, the stress of buying a vacation is 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 huge. And because every company in the world right now generally takes about a week to get you a quote, so you're interested, you find a company, you isolate a tour, and then it's a week before you even get information. Um, If you ask for any revisions, forget about it. It's another week, you know, before you've got more information. Um, And so what we did um, during COVID is we found a way to be able to deliver a proposal, a custom proposal, good for any day of the year for to any of our clients on any of our tours in under five minutes. And wow. so now, that, uh, that seems yeah. impossible. <laughs> it, it's never been done before. Um, you yeah. know, be getting a custom private luxury quote where you can make uh, a, a custom trip completely yours uh, in an afternoon has and never that, existed. And then, does that include like dinner reservations, restaurants, things of that nature? Does it include all that? So what we did to make that possible was break the tours into basically two different sections. So we have what we call our essential tour. And that's everything that you would need, whether you've never been somewhere or you've been there five times. Uh, We include private, English speaking, gratuity included transportation. Anytime you have your luggage, starting from your house, and or anytime it's more than 20 minutes from point to point. Mm -hmm. We include uh, four star and up hotels, uh, breakfast included. We always do one category room upgrade and we focus on hotels that have a boutique style with an architectural or historical component, typically in a city center and walkable to other things. Mm -hmm. We include one privately guided tour in each city that you visit. And we include a welcome dinner on your first night and a farewell dinner on your last night. And that that's our essential tour. That's that's what we can deliver immediately. And then so what's, what's the average cost of that? Is there like an average cost? Sure, sure. It uh, it largely depends on where you go, mm-hmm. um, not when you go, but where you go. So um, some of our countries are very, very affordable. I would say they start around... Uh, for for two people around um, you know seven hundred and fifty dollars per person per day, um, and then in some locations that's wait a minute that includes airfare? not including airfare no okay, so not including airfare no so, no not including that's airfare that's not bad no it's it's not it no. I, I mean our least expensive tour starts out around seven thousand dollars for two people um, our most expensive tour is obviously very long and in a very expensive place. I think it's around $27,000. Um, so it just, it very much depends on what you want to do, where you want to go and how long you want to be gone. Um, but, um, but, but let me tell you how we can make this a completely custom tour because the essential tour is good for anybody, but there's certain people that want to have, uh, you know, like you said, like a nice dinner, like how do you, how do we accommodate that? And uh, so real simply what we do is we, we found that there's four categories of enhancements that people can pick from. And what we did is we, we curated four to five options in each of those categories. And so our saver category is for foodies and we do tastings, Michelin star dining experiences, uh, cooking classes, wineries, breweries, anything that has anything also to do with food me. goes there. <laughs> not for you. For me, cooking classes, no. Hey, there you <laughs> go. Tasting, tequila tasting, I'm in. 
I always encourage uh, I always encourage couples to take a cooking class because I, I figure invariably the guy is going to mess up and he's going to need a meal he can cook for the two of them to say sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a nice relationship tip. Um, our second category is excite. It's uh, it's anything adrenaline related. We've done uh, Ferraris on or off the track. Whitewater rafting, skiing, uh, zip lining. Uh, we've flown uh, people in P fifty one Mustangs over uh, World War One battlefields. So it's just from mild to wild, anything in that range. Um, our third category is explore. That's our culture category, and uh, we do deep dive into people, culture, and places. Mm-hmm. Um, and then our last category is our pampered category. And that's really just for, um, for people who want the best of everything. So mm-hmm. we'll upgrade all your rooms to junior suites or from four star to five star or both. Uh, we'll include, um, you know, massage services, spa services, uh, or personal shoppers. So, uh, that's how, that's how we do it. And so we can deliver that itinerary anywhere we go like that. And then you literally click and add whatever it is that you want. Um, and you know exactly how much the price is. So it's, it's very, it's very and so then that package, that package with those different categories, choices, mm-hmm. selections that can all be, so we get an instant quote within five minutes. Yeah. Choosing all that. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, amazing. so the, the quote is for the essential right. tour and then you pick whatever options you want. So it's pretty easy. Let's have, have some good proprietary software. <laughs> we, we use a lot of different softwares to make that happen. <laughs> I mean, that's really amazing because like you said earlier, one of the biggest stresses about going on a trip is planning the trip. Yeah. I don't plan the trip. My husband does that. <laughs> but I have to hear about it during the whole trip. <laughs> they made these in a reservation. They held, he held online for this. He held online for that. And it sounds like y'all do all of that. You take all the work out of it. Yeah. I mean, you know, and and I mean, honestly, whenever we take a lot of steps to be able to take the stress out of planning a vacation away, I'd like to say that it's a vacation from planning a vacation. So, you know, we include a lot of things that people need for an international trip. We're going to include adapters so that you can plug in your phone at night. Uh, We include leather luggage tags. We include an extra battery to charge up your phone in the middle of the day. Uh, we include a Wi-Fi device so that you can have Wi-Fi calling and internet everywhere you go that has a, a, a cell signal at no additional cost to you. Wow! Because international phone plans can be pretty expensive if you've if you've seen or done that. Yeah, um, and then the adapters to bring your hair dryer and your your straightener. <laughs> so right. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's, it's, it, you know, it's, it's a lot of stuff, but, uh, but the nice thing is, is that our clients uh, get picked up at their front door and taken to the airport. So there's no stress in parking, finding a parking space, remembering where your keys were, hoping that your bags weren't lost, really taking care of a lot of the stress that happens and in so and around international. It's more of a travel club. It's more like a luxurious concierge travel well, let me ask you this: as an as a successful business person, how much stress do you want to have planning of your vacation? Your vacation is for you to get away from work. Husband. That's why I make my husband do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want right? to do it like he does it. But I will tell you, it's extremely stressful. Like even if you're going to use American Express or use Chase, use any of your points, we yeah. just did that with a vacation that we're we we're planning in, in in Florida in Palm Beach. And I was on the phone for almost two hours just trying to figure out a room, you know, getting the right type of room, you know, right. holiday us and, and our daughter and using our points, et cetera. It, it was over two hours. And then I was transferred. And then I was disconnected. And <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. And that's, you know, that's why my husband's like, I'm not going through American Express. I'm going through my travel agent. But, it's, but our travel agent doesn't provide anything close to what you provide. And it still takes her hours upon hours, days, weeks to get back to us. Oh. So I love this. Oh. You know, it's luxury, but it's at an affordable price because the rates you quoted were not extraordinary. They they seemed reasonable to me. No, it's I, I think so. What we what we've really seen as an evolution uh, doing business over the long number of years is 
you know, pre COVID, if you asked me what my pricing was, it, it was actually pretty steep because we included a lot of the optionals up front. And, um, and, and, and I alluded to earlier is trying to get rid of the friction. And what I realized was that I was putting a lot of things that were made great tours, but they weren't things that people necessarily wanted. And so what it created was this back and forth where I was like, Hey, here's a great tour. And then you'd be like, Hey, uh, I want to cut it back to this or change that. And then uh, another week goes by before I can get you new information. And then you want to make another tweak and then it's another week. And now it's been two, three weeks. You just want to have it off your plate and know that it's all good, but we're not there yet, you know? And so I wanted to cut all of that down. And so we made um, everything in the essential tour, like simple. And then all the options allow you to make it completely yours. Right. Right. Well, I love that. And, and I love that it's an instant quote. I love that it's customizable. So let's take a little bit of a shift in the business. We talked sure. about how business owners are not taking vacations. And one of the reasons is they don't have time to plan a vacation. So I think this sure. is good, you know, a good choice for them. Um, because like I said, they simply don't have the time to plan. But, um, you know, let's talk about entrepreneurs because, we go to these different masterminds. You and I belong to mastermind. One thing that I think that you did something um, last time uh, when we were there is, which I think is extraordinary. You took the legwork out of us trying to all figure out where we're going to dinner together. So <laughs> yeah. you searched for restaurants in the area. You knew, you know, what restaurants would take a big table versus dividing it up into multiple tables because we all want to sit together. We get to see each other four times a year. Sure. We all want to see each other and you put that travel together. So it's very, to me, it's imperative for entrepreneurs to get out of the office, out of the room that, that we're in when we go to this mastermind and really get to know each other by these different trips and things. And like you said earlier, it, there's statistics that show that it increases your ability to really focus, concentrate on your business. It's a good test to see if your business can run without you. And it's a great way to make deals, you know, other than just sure. So let's talk a little bit more about entrepreneurial travel, masterminds, really networking, you know, anywhere in the world, really. Yeah, and so, he has like six trips a year for the plat member. <laughs> yeah. You know, some of the greatest ideas are born by total accident. And uh, so we started Entrepreneurs Travel Club. Um, really, honestly, by accident, um, a client of mine had uh, recently been through a divorce. He was a family man, two kids, and uh, he found himself with his kids half the time and lots of time on his hands. So last year, he approached me and said, hey, you know, I want to do like a, a bunch of fun trips for friends and I. And, uh, you know, I'm I'm pretty experimental. So I went with I went with them and we ended up going to uh, Costa Rica and doing a lot of like fun uh, action adventure stuff, um, you know, riding horses, zip lines, whitewater rafting, stuff like that. Um, and there were six entrepreneurs. <laughs> there there was, have you done that? Yeah, I've done all that. Everything you just named. <laughs> Love it. Um, so there were six entrepreneurs on that trip. And, you know, we ended up talking a little bit of business and making some good relationships. And then a few months later, we did Cabo uh, San Lucas. We drive, uh, we drove um, Baja trucks on a closed five mile loop, 600 horsepower. Mm, so fun. Uh, we had uh, paragliders that took us like literally inches above the crashing waves coming in on the beach. And we just flew over that. Uh, we did a lot of fun stuff. And that was with eight entrepreneurs. Um, and then a few months later, we did a ski trip and um, in the French Alps, and we had another set of entrepreneurs. I was and invited that, is, to that one. What's that? <laughs> I was invited to go to that one. Yes, yes. and and we're doing it again next year. So uh, get get ready in mid January next year. I'm putting the pricing together now. But um, but what what ended up happening was um, I, I think you know Ray Perez. We were on the we were on the the lift, we were actually going skiing all the way from France into Italy to have lunch and come back. And he said something that just blew my mind. He says, you know, I would have never said yes to this if had I not been able to also uh, talk business with other entrepreneurs. 
Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is the whole point of why we're in masterminds is to meet other entrepreneurs, but not just meet them, have a deeper relationship more than just like, hey, how can I help you in your business? And what are you, what are you working on? Right. And um, so the Entrepreneur Travel Club is a way for us to deepen the relationships between entrepreneurs and also expand your network. And, um, and what we're doing is we're working with various masterminds throughout the United States to be able to curate experiences that their members can, can coalesce around um, and have more time with each other in between the meetings. So it's essentially um, a way to have better relationships with the people you already invested in. Hmm, wonderful. And so do you have to be a member of the club to, to partake in that? Is that how that works? You, so we, we basically sell two different sorts of packages. Uh, we sell directly to masterminds, uh, a bulk price that includes all of their members. And we also include a, an individual membership. So um, individual memberships are $2,500 per year. Um, And then that gives you access to the events at either a local, regional, or international level. Mm -hmm. Cool. I definitely have some connections for you that have masterminds that are always looking for entrepreneurial events. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. We're working with several right now to be able to put together some nice experiences. Um, Mm -hmm. And then because of the meetings, um, you know, and, and like you mentioned with the restaurants, we've been solving those problems too. And really, that's that's what I look at my job as is uh, identifying what are the pain points, what are the problems, and then just addressing them. And I think that's every entrepreneur does that or just um, I just look at it in terms of coalescing people and relationships in a way that meaningfully changes um, how they interact with each other. Yeah, because when I'm out there, you know, jumping out of a plane or you know, scuba diving, whatever, whatever it is that they do, it could be one idea like Ray Perez, you know, gave you one idea and it was a big old light bulb that went off in your head. Sure. And I find that, that when you're out and about and you're beyond the boardroom, when you hear some of these, you know, ideas that maybe you heard before, but didn't quite register because you're so busy putting out fires or somebody busy working in your business <laughs> rather than on it. These are some really great lessons, great connections, great ideas that can really catapult your business to the next level. And that's why I think it's so important for business owners to to take those vacations, you know, not just with other entrepreneurs, also with your families, of course. Sure. I think it's imperative to do that because so many entrepreneurs are not doing that. So let's kind of shift gears over to employees. Um, You know, we're working with a client right now in our Road to Exit Rich program. And they, you know, they got such an expensive travel bill. And I go, what's going on with the travel cost? And they said, well, we travel for business. Our clients pay us back, but we do two major retreats a year right? for, for their employees. And I said, well, is it beneficial? Is it cost effective? Are you all lying off of it? And they said, absolutely. They said, when we get them out of the office into a nice environment, outdoors, you know, wherever it might be, they open up. They're more comfortable. They're yeah. more relaxed. They're yeah. not worried about deadlines. They're not worried about what they their list, what they have to get done next. And they're really free flowing ideas. Yeah. And yeah. so, talk to us a little bit about um, entrepreneur. Uh, you know, creating masterminds, creating events for your employees because I think it helps boost morale. Number one, and I think it really helps that creative energy. Well, it, it really helps the business flourish. So I'm I'm a I'm a huge proponent of taking yourself out of your normal um, modes and modalities, right? Uh, and I've extended that to I mean I'm married now, but I extended that to when I was dating. I extended that to all different ways. And um, and what I would encourage anybody who's who's in a, a deep relationship, um, if you have a, a problem with your spouse or your other. Uh, don't discuss it at home because that's your, that's your territory. And both of you are going to be very defensive about your territory. Right. So always have conversations like that outside of your home. I like to go for walks, but it really doesn't matter. As long as you're in neutral territory, now you can both have ideas without being defensive. 
And right. honestly, business goes the same way. Right. Uh, when you're sitting at your desk, we, we all get myop- myopia. We're looking at our emails. We're distracted. We're doing all the stuff you know, that, that we should and have to do, but we're not doing the critical thinking that really propels us ahead. And, um, and so changing your scenery, changing your, you know, that's why going to coffee shops is great, but you don't have to go on an exotic vacation to do, to do this mission. Um, it just doesn't hurt. <laughs> it's just pretty, well, pretty I mean, nice. There's, there's cruise ships right here out of New Orleans. It's easy to jump on a four day cruise. Sure. And, sure. Um, and, and there's really so many places that you can go for three, four days. You, yeah. you don't have to, you, I think a lot of people think you have to invest, you know, two weeks into, into this grand thing. And it really doesn't have to do that. Uh, I think there's a lot of places around the world that you could visit for five days, uh, four days, you know, eight days. That's fantastic. And, and really, um, you know, recharge your batteries, put you in a good mindset, uh, expose you to some new ideas. Um, and, and really uh, reform your team. I mean, we both know Ty Crandall. He says the number one thing that has made him more money than anything else has been going on vacation. He just he just thinks about his business differently. <laughs> the more money he's ever made is by going on vacation. Well, number one, he could never make that statement if he wasn't running and operating his business in all six Ps. <laughs> true. No, it's very true. He's got the right people in place because... You can't leave a business for a week, two weeks, three months, six months, unless you have the people in place and you have the processes, you know, all buttoned up. Yeah, but if you leave, it really exposes where your weak points are. So when you come back, you can actually attend to those problems. I love being on a plane, local and international, because I get more work done on a plane yeah. than anything else. You know, because it's the time that I don't want to talk to anybody sitting next to me. <laughs> so I, I can just bury my head and really get my thoughts out and really brainstorm, you know, the future and what needs to be done in business. So yeah. that's great. Well, talk to us about some of your travel hacks. I mean, some of your luxurious travel hacks and some things you've done that really separate you from everybody else and it makes you unique. I, one thing I wanted to mention about the employee thing, though, before you go into that, is we have a company that does an employee cruise every other year for their employees. And they have a personal uh, travel uh, guru, concierge like yourself, and we sponsor part of that trip. Okay. Now, the reason we sponsor part of that trip is because we get, we get business from this client. Sure. <laughs> we sponsor it for years. But the concierge really goes out of their way to make sure everything with our company name is present. So Cubs have our company name. They have an eye sculpture with our company logo. Nice. <laughs> they have napkins. They have everywhere, even when, when they go on the cruise, when I get off the cruise and I do, you know, excursion, our stuff is everywhere. Yeah. Um, so I think that's very important to have that concierge service. But I haven't met too many people like you and him that really go out of their way to create that custom experience and you know, do allow for some sponsorship because I would sponsor some some more trips like that. But talk to us about what makes you different, what makes you unique, some of your your travel hats. Sure. So I will uh, I will do two things that set me apart, and my number one travel hack. Okay. So uh, so so the way that we look at things differently. Uh, I told you about some of the enhancements we have, but I didn't tell you about two of them. And one of them is our photography package. Mm. And the reason is that I came up with this is because I hate vacation photography. It's forever like a selfie with like something behind you, something behind you, right? And uh, manufactured smiles, or you hand your camera to a perfect stranger and you play what I call the hoping game. You hope that they frame it. You hope that they focus it. You hope they don't steal it. Like there's a lot of hoping. And, um, and what ends up, (laughs) what's that? Hope they don't steal it is the biggest. (laughs) Right. Right. So, um, and, and, and here's the result. Every one of those pictures I think are great for Facebook, but I've never seen anybody take that picture, blow it up, pay hundreds of dollars to put it on canvas, frame it and put it in their living room. They're just not that good, right? 
And so I thought there was a really um, a, a mismatch where people were spending a large investment to have a life-changing experience, but not really taking away any good memorabilia about it. Right. And so one of the things that we offer, and it's completely optional, is a photography package where we will match you in one, two, or three time, different times in your trip for two hours each time with a professional photographer. And we have a lot of contractual language with those photographers to be able to say exactly what we want. Because what we don't want is a wedding photographer's instance where it's like, pose here, do this, chin up. It's none of that, okay? Uh, our photographers are instructed to be like paparazzi and to treat you like the celebrity that you are. And so what we want is the real smiles that you get inevitably when you're in the moment. Oh. And, um, and it's their job to get the stuff in the background and all that. Uh, oh. But if I showed you some of the pictures that our photographers have, have taken over the years, it is absolutely top notch. And we, we just, uh, we get a lot of good remarks. And, um, and then what we do with the pictures is we, we obviously release all the digital stills to our client. Uh, but we also produce a, a very nice leather bound um, photo album that they can have something for their for their coffee book, uh, coffee table book. So that's one thing that, re that we do that sets us apart. That's awesome. the, other, the other thing is our custom daily amenities package. So um, and unfortunately, there's no way to talk about this without explaining it fully, because nobody else on the planet is doing this. Michelle. Have you ever gotten a bottle of champagne in your room when you checked in? Yes. Were you in France when it happened? I mean, I've been in the United States, too. I mean, right. But here's my point. At some point, you paid somebody for a vacation somewhere, and they got you a French experience, even though you weren't in France, with the bottle of champagne, right? Right. And so while I think that people who love champagne are never upset about that, right? It's, it's pretty good. Uh, I think there's a missed opportunity and because when you pay me for an Italian or a Belgian or, a, or an Icelandic vacation, if I give you a French experience, it's just, it's not bad. I'm just not doing as good as I could. You're missing, right? the, mark. You're missing the mark. from the Missing the mark. Sorry. And the, and the other thing, the corollary to that, Michelle, is that I know all of these places. And so I know that if you don't go into the right store or walk down the right street or stop in the right place, you will completely miss an experience that is distinct to that area, mm -hmm. no matter where you are. And so what we did is we have found uh, the locally sourced, locally produced specialty of every area that we do business in. And we have one item delivered to your hotel room each day. And those items could be knives, jewelry, candles, clothes, uh, alcohol, non-alcohol, food, uh, bowls, wood crafts. It doesn't matter what it is. What we are looking for is how can we immerse you in the experience of being where you are and take away 100% of the problems of not going down the right street or going into the right store. That's amazing. That's, that's fabulous. Is that an, that's an extra option, right? Or it's it an extra option, but I will tell you this, with our new system, anybody who pulls a proposal and makes a purchasing decision within five days uh, we will uh, we will include that absolutely for free for the entire time that you're there. Wow, that's amazing! My husband and I we, and my daughter we went to Amsterdam to see the tulips bloom. Yeah. Oh, nice. And one of our biggest, you know, we hire local tourists, uh, you know, to walk us around, show us things, and that was good. But and we got to experience, but I don't think that it was maximized as much as it could have been as far. Right. Stores to go in, like I couldn't find the right clothing stores at all. Right. The wrong stores, you know, and and so obviously we weren't never sent any gifts. Um, but I, I love that. I think that's a that's a huge extra touch. All right. So those are the two things that set us apart. Now the luxury travel hack, the number one luxury travel hack I've ever known. Okay, you ready for this? 
hire a professional. We absolutely know more than you do. We will absolutely be able to find better deals. We will absolutely be able to surprise and delight you. And, and, and here's the real thing, okay? Michelle, my hypothesis is that you are not lacking information. You're just not, right? What you are lacking is time to analyze that information. Amen. And so you're so far into your job doing what you do very well that if you were to research or read everybody's travel hacks about where the three best places to go for a beach vacation are or whatever, it's not that that information doesn't exist. It's that you don't have time to read it. And if you did have time to read it, you wouldn't have time to then apply it. And, yeah. and that's the whole point of the vacation is to get away from work. If you look at it and say, I'm going to do all the research, then what you're really saying is I'm going to apply for a new job, keep the old job that I have and double the stress so that I can then have control over what I do and where I go. And it's really just antithetical to the entire point of a vacation, which is to get away from work to con. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to keep people an expert in their lives and then take away all of the stress otherwise. And so the number one luxury hack is just hire, hire, doesn't have to be me, just hire somebody who can take care of you because that is what a vacation is, having well, that done for you. Yeah. And that's why, that's what frustrates my husband is even though we have a travel agent. Sure. And we love her dearly. She's, you know, she's been working with us for years, but she doesn't do any of this extra stuff. She yeah. Well, she certainly doesn't send us gifts. <laughs> she certainly doesn't arrange transportation from our doorstep. You know, so I, I think it's amazing. I think it's great. Hopefully more business owners will will really take part in, in taking more vacations because you can't just keep running on empty. You know, if you're burned out, sure. you're out. And, you know, I always say that we're like a computer and we have so many things open. Like, think about your computer. If you have so many different things open, what happens? It yeah. happens. Yeah. <laughs> well, people are the same. We have all these things open. That's why I say we have to close the cycle, close the cycle, close the cycle. But in addition to closing the cycle, we must refresh. We must energize, re-energize and, and take that vacation. Rather, it's a family trip. Rather, it's with, with like-minded entrepreneurs so you can really work on your business or really um, work with your employees and, and boost morale and, and get their creative genius. Tap into yeah. it. Yeah, I think, I think really uh, your computer analogy is great because if you never update your computer – you know, what's going to happen. And, I and never for do me, that. I never do. So during these podcasts, I'm like, Oh, please don't crash on me now. Please don't crash on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, it's like, it would be a nightmare. You'd be like, well, we'll be right back, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, all right, so tell us we're almost out of time, but you got to tell us about your seven figure James Bond experience. Yeah. The, um, the James Bond experience is, uh, is, uh, is something that I wanted to take 100% of what I had learned over a decade of doing this and apply it in a unique and innovative way for one client. And uh, so it is, uh, it is extravagance at its finest. Uh, but if you're a fan of James Bond, if you've ever wanted to li live a life of action and adventure, then this tour is for you. Uh, so let's get the price tag right out of the gate. It's a million dollars. Like there's, there's no two ways around it. It's for one person, $1 million and it's for 16 days. So, uh, so what do we, what do we do? Uh, our client, uh, after doing multiple psychological tests, physical tests, and, uh, having a deep understanding of what they can and can't do, uh, we'll go for three days to a U.S. government approved training facility that trains everything from the CIA to the LAPD. Wow. And they would do surveillance detection routes, uh, shooting from helicopters, shooting military equipment, performance driving techniques, basically a three day boot camp on spycraft. You got to be really connected to get that. To we can do that. Yeah, <laughs> we can do that. We can do that in multiple places throughout the United States, too. So there, there's a lot of different things we can do with that. 
Um, now, uh, at the end of the three days, we release custom gadgetry secret to the client, and then we release them back home. Now, by the way, 100% of the travel with this package is by private jet. So, uh, so that's, that's definitely part of the cost. Um, at the end of the three days, we send the client home and then we go radio silent until 24 hours before you're supposed to leave. Our client packs absolutely nothing. They get on the plane with nothing but their clothes on their back. And they go to Northern Italy for what is an eight day Hollywood script written, choose your own adventure, live action role play game where they are James Bond and they must solve for beating Spectre. Uh, we include all the toys, the sweets, the casino night. Um, and because they didn't pack anything, we include all eight days custom tailored clothes delivered to your hotel room including your toiletries of choice, yours to keep for the entire time. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the eight days, once you've defeated Spectre, uh, we fly you and your significant other wherever they are concurrently to the Golden Eye Estate in Jamaica where Sir Ian Fleming wrote the books. And that's just five days of, uh, of all-inclusive luxury, just relaxing and getting to tell your stories. When you come home, we have a 12-month Aston Martin lease waiting for you uh, and uh, coming shortly months. thereafter. Huh? 12 months? 12-month lease. Um, and, uh, and we also include a military surveillance team the entire time of your experience taking video with buttonhole, infrared, uh, regular cameras, you name it. We're going to produce a really, really awesome video of uh, your conquests and what you did and uh, then deliver that to you. So that awesome. that's in a nutshell. So that's obviously tailored for men. Have women participated? No, no, that's that's tailored for a Jane Bond or a James Bond, oh. e either one. How many people have you had come through that program? Zero so far, but uh, <laughs> we're we're, uh, we're open for business on that. So and what about uh, this? What about what about the spaceship? You know, are you doing any uh, tours for that? I am not currently, but I uh, I am I am friends with Aviation Marie, uh, people on Clubhouse who know her. Uh, so we are looking into that uh, right now. Uh, it's kind of a crowded field, and there are. Uh, I think there's like six years of backlog for people that have paid and ready to go, but can't go yet. Uh, but the spaceport industry is really interesting. And, um, and it seems to be a really rapidly growing field uh, that honestly, as a, as a business broker, I mean, I should pair you up with, uh, with aviation. M&A advisor, M&A advisor. <laughs> M&A advisor. Sorry. I will definitely pair you up with her because, uh, she is a uh, an attorney, a friend of mine who is uh, working on the space industry and uh, seeing how we can upgrade all the systems as a country to be able to enter this new age. That would be wonderful. I would love that introduction. Yeah. So, any last minute thoughts? Any last minute business hacks? Travel hacks? You know, how do people? I I, uh, I would be remiss without mentioning two things. Um, one, uh, all of us me included, travel for all sorts of regular reasons. These are like weekend trips for business. Uh, these are visiting friends and family, a baby's being born, a wedding's happening. These are the everyday travel things. And quite honestly, for like nine years, nobody ever called me for stuff like that. Rightfully so, that's not what we dealt with. Uh, but COVID was really great for me to be able to think about how we can implement uh, using travel as a tool to implement social change. And so I started uh, travel to give back. That's the number two travel to give back. And uh, we adopted a smile.amazon model uh, where our clients can uh, purchase hotels, flights, and rental cars at the exact same price as they will find everywhere else for the same dates, times, and everything. Okay. It's exactly the same. Wow. However, when you start an account, you can pick any of 1.3 million charities. You can pick your local church. 
You can pick the American Heart Association, pick anybody you want. And a portion of the commissions earned at no cost to you and at no cost to the charity are shared with that charity. So uh, our goal is to donate a billion dollars in the next 10 years. And I think that that's very, very possible with really a small percentage of the U.S. population using our service. And so if you use Expedia or Priceline or Orbitz or any of those, really switch to travel to give back right now and you will get this same exact stuff at exactly the same price. You'll just be helping other people instead. Uh, so, travel, so travel to give back instead of all of these other uh, companies that you just mentioned. And how does it work? It's a dollar for every half. No, no. So essentially we, we split. Um, so the, the standard is 25% of all commissions earned are split with your charity of choice. Okay. Um, however, because we're looking to really kick off this year, uh, we are offering 75% split. So 75 cents out of every dollar that's earned goes to the charity of your choice until July of next year. So uh, really take advantage of that because it doesn't cost anybody anything. It's just free money for the charities. That's it. Tax deduction. Yeah. And it, well, I don't think you can claim the tax deduction because the, 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 the thing doesn't come through that way, but you know that you're helping somebody, you know, like, and trust. Uh, this is travel retreats or a tax reduction for your employees. <laughs> yeah. So entrepreneurs travel club for any entrepreneurs that are out there and want to meet other entrepreneurs or do exciting things. Um, that is a great way for us to be able to do tax deductible travel. So uh, all your, all your travel expenses would be travel tax deductible in that instance. Uh, this is not tax advice. Check with your local advisor, <laughs> but uh, we've done that. And, uh, and uh, under the membership service, you can do that. And then honestly, if you uh, and your family and your spouse or, or somebody you love and you want to take a great vacation, uh, you know, go to our, our website at lugostravel.com and, uh, and, and uh, you just pull a proposal. Honestly, uh, it's the easiest thing ever these days to be able to get that information and make the decision uh, very, very quickly. So I encourage everyone to, to go check you out because I love the instant quote. I mean, yeah. I don't think anybody else is doing that in the travel space. So that's amazing. And then everyone should go check out the Entrepreneurs Club as well. I'm going to check it out. You can access all of my information at shanemahoney360.com. And I'm sure you'll put that in the show notes, but shanemahoney360.com has all my websites, my information, my, uh, if you're interested, we have a course where we teach uh, luxury travel tips to uh, anybody that's uh, interested. You can access all that information at through shanemahoney360.com. Amazing. Any last minute thoughts, Shane? I just, I want to take a moment and thank you, honestly, for your friendship and, and all your cheery personality, but also your information. Um, I've been to several of your, of your uh, spheres and um, I'm just super impressed with your knowledge and what you do for your customers and, and how, and how you do things. It's really great. And I'm, I love diving into your book. Um, I have not finished it yet, full disclosure, but I will. Um, and, uh, and I just really want to thank you for taking the time to be able to educate all of us on a little bit uh, about what you do and how you do it so well. Thank you. I truly appreciate that. Did you, did you get the audio book sharing for $2.99? I got the audio book and the book. I, I'm, I'm all good. So for the month of May, everybody can go out there and get the $2. Yeah, honestly, everybody should go pick the two, $3 for an audio book is like, if you're not doing it, you're, you're really honestly, as an entrepreneur, um, there's no reason not to do this. Yeah, and it ends May 31st. So dollars and 99 says between now and May 31st, you get the audio book. So there, there, were, a couple, there were a couple of golden nuggets dropped here um, that we talk about in my book, Exit Rich, that I just want to reiterate really quickly. Sure. Number one was, you know, he didn't let the pandemic set him back. He didn't let the pandemic define him, define his future, define his business. He didn't let it control the rest of his life. He did a reset, a travel reset, <laughs> and really reorganized his company by, number one, 
figured out the processes, the synergies, the systems that will be able to completely, you know, revamp the travel industry and provide that instant quote, which I think is genius, and the entrepreneurship club, which I think is imperative, important, crucial for all entrepreneurs to participate in. And if it wasn't for that time to reset, you might have never been able to make some of those hacks, you know, yeah. to quote an entrepreneur's club. So processes is everything. Also, he's been able to test his business time and time and time again because he travels all over the world. And guess what? His business still runs without him. So he obviously has the right people in the right seats. And he obviously has the right processes in mind. And He's making money, which is a six P profits. <laughs> <laughs> well done, my friend. Well done. And thank you for all the, the golden nuggets, the words of wisdom you shared here today. Make sure you go check out Shane Mahoney. Shane, I want you to I want you to come out with a book. <laughs> you need to come out with a book. I'm gonna help, I'm gonna help you with that. I'm gonna help you write a book. I'm but, a fan. Everybody, everybody heard it here. I'm gonna help Shane Mahoney write a book. Anyway, so. Thank you to all of our listeners. Thank you to all my Facebook friends. Obviously, thank you to my team that helps put on these podcasts. And thanks, most importantly, to all of our listeners. Make sure that you share this podcast with your friends, your entrepreneurs, you know, people who say they have no time to spend with you and have no time to take a vacation. They need it the most. <laughs> so make sure you share this episode, subscribe to Exit Rich. And we can't wait to see you next time on another episode of Exit Rich. Thank you, Shane. You're on amazing wonderful guest i can't thank you michelle some of your some of your travel hacks <laughs> the number one one thank you thank you thanks for listening to the exit rich podcast don't forget to check out michelle seiler tucker's build to sell blueprint books and exit rich along with more blogs videos and resources at exitrichpodcast.com be sure to connect with Michelle on Facebook or LinkedIn and stay tuned for her next episode by subscribing in your favorite podcast player.